Hello everyone. Today is October the 24th. And as of today, we have some new polling data and also some new early voting data that I believe is gonna be impossible to overcome for Donald Trump. If anyone can do it, I suppose it could be Trump, but man, he is going to have uh, a big uphill climb. If you can actually see the map here, Georgia has went from tilting Donald Trump to tilting Joe, uh, Joe Biden. Florida is now a 70% chance to go for Biden. So on November 3rd, we may actually know the results as soon as the Florida polls close at 9 p.m. Uh, Arizona is also about a 70% chance to go for Biden. North Carolina, the same as well. And we can actually see what happens if Trump wins Arizona, North Carolina becomes more likely to go for Donald Trump. And the same is true if Donald Trump wins North Carolina. Then Arizona becomes more likely to go for him. So does Florida. So um, as it stands today, Ohio is basically a coin flip. And so is Iowa. With Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania solidly in Joe Biden's camp. So just to recap, uh, if... Texas goes for Trump, but Biden wins Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. It doesn't matter uh, if all the other swing states goes to Donald Trump because Joe Biden will have already reached 270 electoral votes. But th that isn't uh, why, why I'm making this video today. It isn't to show the electoral numbers is to show these amazing, ridiculous early vote numbers. Okay, so as of today, um, 54 million Americans have voted. So to put it into perspective, 120 million people voted in the, in the last election altogether. So um, a lot of people are predicting that uh, we're gonna see a lot more voter participation in this election. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But one thing is definitely for sure, the, I, I, uh, we've never seen early voting like this before. Obviously, we are having a COVID pandemic right now. So drawing conclusions from the early vote numbers may not be um, that significant except for two reasons. One, if we look down at the party affiliation, so we have voter registration data from a few uh, key swing states, one being Texas, Florida. Uh, the other is Iowa um, and Pennsylvania. So what are these numbers saying in these key states? Well, if you take a look at the party affiliation, uh, Democrats have 12 million 12 million of these early share votes. And the so the percentage is 50% overall. The Republicans only have 27%. So um, <clears throat> actually there are more people with no party affiliation than have party affi affiliation or just about, no, the numbers are about the same. So uh, what we're looking at is a ridiculous tsunami of early voting for Democrats. And there's no reason in particular, unlike uh, 2016, there's no reason particularly to assume that those no party affiliation voters are going to vote for Trump this year. Uh, if anything, it is highly uh, probable that those um, independent voters and no party affiliation voters are being turned out early to vote against Donald Trump. <clears throat> now, uh, we saw in 2016, Donald Trump had a huge red wave on election day because Hillary Clinton also led the early vote numbers before the vote. Here's why I think it's already too late for Donald Trump to possibly come back. Because if you, if we look at the poll numbers here, uh, these are the numbers today as it stands right now. So it doesn't matter whether or not Donald Trump closes the gap. So um, uh, um, let's pre-assume that Donald Trump is going to be 50-50 in all of these states, right? 
uh, that are that are close, and maybe even a state like uh, Pen uh, Pennsylvania. Let's uh, if if we preassume that, but we realize that uh, Democrats have already bagged in this huge lead in early vote numbers, then you, you, you see where I'm going with this, right? So not only does he have to catch up, and not only does he have to catch Biden, but he would need to take the lead on Biden by some uh, wide margin at this point, because Pennsylvania is going for Trump uh, in a big way at this point, right? So... No, I mean that's not that's not probable. I mean that's not po that's not really possible, is it? So we see um, 538 gives an 87 percent chance of winning for Joe Biden. Now, now 538's model doesn't include the early voting, and everyone is saying, "Look, don't pay attention to early voting. Early voting is not an indicator of anything." No, it is an indicator that listen, if you're behind and you're trying to catch up. I mean, it's not going to be possible. I mean, there's just not enough human beings in the United States for Trump to catch up. There just isn't enough population. 50 million people have already voted. And of those 50 million, 50% 50 of those voted for the Democratic Party. And if we, even if we broke down those non-affiliated uh, voters, if, if we gave it 50-50, which I have no reason to assume it would not be leaning in favor of the Democratic Party. But even if you chopped it up 50-50, okay, well, listen, you, uh, Republican, uh, the Republicans are gonna, listen, this has all sorts of implications, not just for Donald Trump and the presidency, but for the Senate and all those down ballots. Oh my God, this is gonna be a blue tsunami. And um, so I am sorry, Trump supporters, for giving you the bad news. But this election is over. Uh, Joe Biden is going to be president of the United States. And now the only thing that we have to do is uh, figure out whether or not they're going to call Florida at nine o'clock and the race is going to be over early. Or whether or not uh, Trump wins Florida and, uh, you know, loses in some of the and loses in the other states. But we have to take some time to, to, to count all the mail-in votes because that's pretty much the only thing left to decide in this election. I mean, for God's sake, I mean, Texas, the, the latest polls in Texas has Biden plus one in Texas. Um, I mean, this is this is going to be a this is going to be a bloodbath. So I apologize for all you <laughs> Trump supporters who are going to watch this video. But you guys are in big trouble, big, big trouble. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep um uh, I'm going to keep posting uh, election news. <laughs> I'm going to, if, if things somehow change, I'll report um, on the changes. But at this point, uh, yeah, with only a few days left to go, I mean, it's not looking good for Donald Trump.